I hope you're all having a beautiful, wonderful, magical day. Um, yeah, I've just been like having lots of realizations recently and um, trying to practice self care better because I preach a lot about self care but then I'm not always doing it properly. I think I say it more because I want other people to take care of themselves but then I'm not actually properly taking care of myself so I've been feeling a bit run down lately anyway I'm just reading this book A New Earth Created um, Create a Better Life by Eckhart Tolle and um, it's really good and I, I watched a video of his the other day and um, yeah I watched a video of his the other day and it was saying about um, roses um, about flowers first off he was saying like never say that they are a flower you say that they're called a flower like if you were to say to a child or something and I quite like that like nothing is everything just is what it is and we just call it whatever we place name to it but it's just, whatever it is is just being it you know um, but yeah, and it was saying like, when you acknowledge the flower and let the flower know that it's beautiful, then the flower has consciousness because it's aware of its beauty, which means it's aware of itself. And then I'm just reading in this book and it's just talking about flowers again. And it's sort of saying that and it made, made me think of like humans you know, when we notice someone, when we see someone or, or acknowledge their beauty or acknowledge them, then they, that makes them acknowledge themselves and awakens that within them, a bit like the flower, which is quite a beautiful thing. So we should recognise the beauty in people more and let them know about it. Um, yeah. And it's saying a lot about, like, you know, Jesus and Buddha and stuff. Also, um, acknowledging flowers. You know, seeing beauty in a flower could awaken humans. So he's sort of saying, like, that flowers are just, like, living in the moment all the time. They're zen as fuck and we can learn a lot from just studying flowers and you know I had this connection with this <laughs> one flower in Hillsborough Park there's like a little flower garden and I went in there in the summer when I was feeling a bit down and it just brought me to life being in there and there was just this one flower that smelt so good it was like oh, this beautiful beautiful rose and there was like dew drops on it and it just smelled. It was the most amazing smell I've ever smelled. And I just kept going back to it to oh, breathe it all in. It was like flower crack. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. And yeah, I've even thought about getting that. I took a picture of the, the rose. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. And I even thought about getting it tattooed on me so I, like, never forget the scent of that rose. And now I'm thinking of it even more because it has a lot more meaning. Like, it will remind me to be still and in the moment, just like the rose, and to appreciate others and see the beauty in others and acknowledge them so that they can acknowledge themselves just like that rose. So yeah, I just, I like that. Um, you know, and I think it's cool. Like, I buy all these books, and obviously I don't read them right as I buy them. But I think that's a cool thing, that things come into your life when they're meant to. So, like, now I'm reading this book, and it di links directly to a video that I watched yesterday. I suppose I only picked up the book because... 
um, me and my friend Jake were talking about um, old Eckhart. So then that reminded me that I had a book by him. So then now I'm reading it and it linked to that video that I watched yesterday. So I like the cool synchronicities in life. Um, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Even, um, just read the preface made me feel really happy. <gasps> so yeah, so yeah, it's talking about enlightenment as well and saying how the re like flowers are already en enlightened, aren't they? Um, and he was saying about like birds and stuff and like evolved to have wings and they've like broken free from their oppression sort of thing um, and it said about the butterfly as well like they'll go through a lot of stress before you know going in turning into a butterfly so yeah when we're changing and growing then you know, it can be uncomfortable and painful and confusing and I feel like I've been going through a bit of that at the moment. But it's getting ready for like a transformation and then when you come out the other side of that transformation and then, yeah, you're like a beautiful butterfly again and again. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to... Oh come back and find my centre basically and I've had a lot going on I feel like I've just full filling my cup up too much with lots of things and I need to just be more be present more less doing more being so just dialing it back and trying to simplify my life a little bit more. So I'm just about to go out for a nature walk. I might read a little bit more of this book first because it's really good. So yeah, trying to read more, look after myself more to, to get to bed earlier. Because I did start doing that straight after the new moon, but then I sort of stopped. I get distracted real easily by different things and by people I'm a real social person and then I just get sucked into chatting with peeps and stuff but I need to <sighs> take some time for me because yeah I'm looking pretty tired and yeah crappy <laughs> so yeah just gonna take some time to come back to center and yeah be present and let's let go of some of the baggage and let go of some things release a bit more to fill up with more good stuff so yeah a lot of this has been coming from my chats with Jake so thank you Jake if you're watching um uh, really appreciate all our good chats and all your amazing advice and it's great to like talk to people and share our thoughts and ideas or things we've learned and thoughts or ideas of other people um yeah sharing is caring guys so we should all share our knowledge and share the love and share what we've learned with each other to help elevate each other and yeah it's all good Everything's all good, guys. So, yeah, so have a wonderful, beautiful day. And, yeah, let go, be free. Ooh. Sorry, I'm yawning loads. Um, but, yeah, have a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous day, everyone. Be present in the moment and just, yeah, do something nice for yourself today and every day. And yeah, be your wonderful selves. Mwah. Love you. Peace. Bye. Love you.